Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. I'm going to talk to you about simvastatin, and specifically, does simvastatin cause weight gain or does simvastatin cause weight loss? So real quick, what is simvastatin? It is a medicine used to treat cholesterol in a family of medicines known as statins. In the U.S., it's sold under the brand name Zocor. Uh, common side effects, uh, this is in the 1 to 10 percent category, so 1 out of 10 people uh, may have side effects. 9 out of 10 seem to tolerate the medicine just fine. Nausea, stomach pain, diarrhea, constipation, headache, muscle pain, rash, and then increased liver enzymes. Oftentimes your primary care provider will do labs to make sure all of those things are uh, where they need to be. Weight loss, any weight loss associated with simvastatin? Not really. It's uh, considered less than 1%. Other side effects that could contribute to the weight loss include nausea and loss of appetite. If you seem to be having some issues with weight loss and simvastatin, that's a conversation to have with your doctor, although I, I've never seen it in almost 20 years as a pharmacist. What about weight gain with simvastatin? Uh, it uh, is also in the less than 1% category, but there's more to this story than just the reported side effect of weight gain. There is some concern that statins uh, can increase fasting blood sugar over time. And we're going to go through just a couple interesting studies. Uh, one shows it may decrease leptin. And the other one shows there is a known risk for increase in diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is often associated with weight gain, especially with that fasting blood sugar going up. Many people find it hard to maintain or lose weight when their blood sugar is higher. So first, let's look at an article from Physiological Reports. This is one about leptin. Statins decrease leptin expression in human white fat cells. Okay, so what does that mean? Decrease leptin in the fat cells. Well, leptin signaling um, is an important satiety factor, meaning that tells you when you're full, when to stop eating. Uh, this study, they found that it acts, statins act directly on human um, fat cells to regulate um, both leptin expression. So what it means, it could contribute, at least in part, they kind of go back and forth on how important leptin is. Uh, you know, it, it's certainly involved in um, maintenance of body weight, but to what extent, we don't know for certain, but it does seem in some people, it this uh, decrease in leptin may result in increased food intake in certain statin users as they simply don't feel full. They, they're not satiated after eating. Uh, so here, here we're going to talk about the, the diabetes risk. This is a journal article from Postgraduate Medicine. By the way, I'll have a link to both of these journal articles in the video description. So feel free to click on those, read a little bit more about it. But this article is about statins in general, not specifically simvastatin, and the risk for type 2 diabetes, what clinicians should know. So what did they kind of highlight? Okay, so if you have risk factors for that's type 2 diabetes, um, you need to be careful when starting statin therapy. However, people with diabetes have cardiovascular disease risks, and that's why they're put on the statin to decrease the heart attack of uh, the re decrease the risk of heart attack and stroke. They're showing here that the use of statin therapy uh, is still better. It's, it's still better to use it than the risk of developing diabetes uh, for the prevention of heart attack and stroke. Um, but another thing I think we don't talk about as much as we should in Western medicine is the importance of lifestyle management. Um, exercise and diet can do a lot. If you really think about think about some of the processed food we eat, think of it as medicine. And that medicine that you are ingesting has a side effect of diabetes and high cholesterol. I mean, if we if we considered food medicine, I think a lot of people would just take a different look at it. it it's inexpensive, it's easy to get, but it also has some terrible side effects, that food that... Uh, so certainly consider that. Um, it could reduce the need for higher doses or reduce the need altogether for uh, medicines like these. Again, you'd want to always be certain you talk to your doctor before you would do any dietary or exercise changes. 
So I hope you found this information useful or at least food for thought. Always, always, always talk to your doctor or your primary care provider with questions about your medicines. If you feel like you're having side effects, if you're not tolerating, talk to them. Ask questions about simvastatin or other medicines in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. And subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this. Thank you for watching.